everyone good morning it is morning for me okay good day whatever time of the day you're meeting this video this is your obonge soap maker zesta have soap skin care and lifestyle in our corner with the car yeah yeah miki our courses are still on our soap making course is on in kana sanka iya yin paste soap if you want to learn how to make paste soap with chemical not with this organic powder okay with chemical i have the recipe with the video it's just five thousand naira only i'm not charging you much i'm not saying twenty thousand no if you want to learn to make any kind of bar soap it's five thousand naira only we have other courses many beautiful courses okay so let me just stop here today i want to make this video because of um that i made a video on how to make your to do soon it's, you know that these <clears throat> things are expensive. Oh, things are expensive. Caustic is expensive. Potassium and drugs are is even more expensive than caustic. And the funny thing is that most of us have been throwing away that potassium and drugs are for quite some time. Okay. So I got somebody to be able to make this potash for me. Already we usually use this potash. I speak outside, we call it um when and when and me to imuti ya chichiki was mutumba. Kunsensha to kansanyi and he to kansanyi. I mean iya yisha ai to it was this to kansanyi wana to kansanyi shine ne ine apani de shine wana sabulun wana sabulun dudu osin nande ne. Tida shike bande loka chinyi se naba ma wate temun. You understand? I gave somebody else to do for me. Here in the novel we usually use is our maize stock, our granite peel, our beans peel, anything you know. All these uh, agricultural byproducts that usually we leave, all our main stocks that we leave for animals to graze on and things like that. That's what they pack and then burn and then the ashes. That's what they used to make the token sengi for me. That's what they used to make that ash for me. That potassium hydroxide. You need the potassium in the plants. Do not burn off, and it is what is retrieved and I use as my lye water. Kuna ji na ko, wanda token sengi nang shine na ampani de shine wanda sabulu. So, Bari Nuna Moku Yenda Ake Yinshi Zan ha ha this video the bundle bang. I will join different different videos for you and then I'll just turn it into one video for you to watch. Okay. For those of you that have not seen the video, this is my soap. It is a soft paste soap, but it will also give you a solid bar that dissolves well and forms well. Okay, in Kamasabul and Salom Moko. Kungan shi kuna dai ganin shi sabulu sabulu amma kuma yana da karfi yana da kumfa kuma bai daskare sosai kuna ganin shi kaman dudu osun mu ko to gashi nan you get your wood ash your wood ash could be from your plant by products as i said or from your hardwood trees zaku using zaku amfani da itace wanda kun san ana ci ko irin su ko irin su kayan amfanin gona da arige an gama irin Subawo, subawo masara, su um, kara, kungane, all these things. That's what you use. You use hardwood trees or agricultural byproducts. Okay. So you now boil it. So you can see they are boiling it. Okay. You boil it and then you allow it to cool. So you allow it to cool. And then so could touch a she and then so could subway a chicken. You filter it and then the water you immerse an egg in it. A quarter of the egg should be floating over. You can also decide to boil it until uh, uh, that is you boil the filtrate until you get this crystalline salt out of it. Another way of doing it is to get a vessel with a perforated vessel, get your your sack for your ash inside. Kungan to kenkena ana zuba chicken one no ruba dun. Senka zuba to katun. Then you now pour water. You sprinkle water on it. You sprinkle the first time. You allow it to seep through. You now sprinkle the second time. You allow it to seep through. Alternatively, you can just pour the water inside your vessel, mix it up, and then gradually pour it into your sack. But make sure your sack goes around the whole of the rubber, okay? So you can see how it is done. So one machine a method two. Can I hear Kaisha Haka? When some first one in underpa, when no kuma when the back in back asan kadapa new iru one ni na fi 
so because ba zan dafa ba anything da zai sa ni in kashe kudi da yawa ba na so a wannan sabulun so this is the second method the first method you boil it then you get your lye water this second method you allow your lye water to seep through gradually percolate and then you gather your lye water this is the second round to make it more concentrated okay to make it more concentrated you pour the second time you understand you first pour your first round as this water is going down it will be settled to be settling gradually you leave it to settle okay you want an album bed of here it's not hard at all so after it has percolated you just allow it gradually you see the water that will come out that will be your live water it's as simple as that and it is not only the potassium that comes out some of the minerals also in the plant that you burnt will also percolate out so it's even better and healthier than your conventional chemical life okay so this is it you can see how it looks this is it the concentrated one after you've gathered it maybe you've done it several times you gather it up and you keep that is all at this point if you want to get it in powder form you go ahead and boil this water and evaporate out your crystallize out your ash or you can use it as it is like this but immersing an egg into it let the egg float to a quarter of the egg by that stage you know it's okay either that or use your ph meter and test it the ph will be between 8 to 10 then you know it's okay for soap making either way all works okay so you can see this is a very simple method and this same lie that i that we i just showed you now is what we use in cooking in our tribe in our language amateur by tribe we call it chafak i don't know how other tribes call it okay so this is your ph meter you can test it like this you immerse it and it should be between eight to ten at times it could be very concentrated if it's very concentrated you dilute it with a little bit of more water until the ph is around 8 to 10 that is when you use it for your soap making you can see it's very very easy okay so kungan be da wuya ko ku dafa shi ku cire ruwa din ku amfani da shi ko kuma ruwan nan da kuka dafa da kuka dafa kuka cire ku sa shi a wuta sai ruwan duka ya fita ya bamma ku ji shirin ko kuwa ku amfani da shi haka kun hada shi a cikin ruwa so ku sa kwanku ku testa din shi ko da phb tan ku kai amfani da shi duk yanda kuka so ku yi da zai so kun ganga sabulun yake this is how the soap looks like okay very easy if you have not watched this the complete video i can see send it in the link but this is me just trying to show you this is what i did and i got this it will come out in a paste this way but eventually you allow it to harden up it to now become solid okay and meanwhile for those of you that want to buy my paste soap course it is five thousand naira okay just as i said earlier on if you're my student it is two five of course as my student you pay less just I'll give you the video and the recipe, everything. And if you're interested, you, any question you have, you can make your video, your practical, everything I'll put you through. Okay? So this is just it. I've shown you how to make the solid bar. And this is how to make the... And I've also told you, if you want the paste soap recipe, I'll send it to you with the video and the recipe complete, everything. Just 5,000 Naira. I'm not charging you 20. I'm not charging you 30. 